Let's spill some secrets, starting with... We're talking about your eyes, and you've all heard they're the window to your soul, but they also can be a window to your health. And here to help us out, talking about the eyes, is optometrist Dr. Elise Briscoe. Thank you, Elise, for being here. And I'm going to start off with the most common of complaints. Clap your hands if you've ever had red eyes. We've all been there, and sometimes it's just, I've had a long day at work, or I haven't had enough sleep. But chronic red eyes can also be a sign of something much more serious. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a lot more than meets the eye to an eye exam. As an optometrist, I examine for more than, do you just need contact lenses or glasses? Because your eyes do reveal a lot about your overall health. You bring up a great point, because a lot of patients will present with eye problems but it's actually a sign or a symptom of something much more serious going on beyond, for instance, here, just a red eye. Right, right. Because the red eye could mean something is wrong with you or mm -hmm. you're not treating your eyes correctly. And, and a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just constantly put drops in their eyes and, yeah. oh, you know what, I can deal with this. I can live with this. And little do they know. Well, if your eyes are persistently red, it could mean a health problem. Or it could even mean that your eyes are getting infected and irritated by using old makeup. Every six months, you should change your eyeliner and mascara. And also, ladies, and, and maybe even a few gentlemen, don't share makeup with your friends. And uh, don't... I'm starting today. <laughs> no more sharing. Jim dress. will never share you our mascara ever again. <laughs> Done. Thank you. And don't keep your makeup in your pocket. Uh, your purse or your car, because the heat can destroy the preservatives that prevents bacteria from growing in the mascara. Ooh, good point. Yeah. And so yeah. the other thing with red eyes, common issues that we find people using the eye drops over and over again. But unfortunately, if you do that, you can get the rebound effect yes. if you ever stop using them because your eyes get so used to it. So that's a temporary mm -hmm. fix. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I see that a lot in my practice because I take care of a lot of celebrities and actors and actresses, and they're using the red eye drops to keep their eyes looking more white in front of the camera. But the problem is they may be masking an underlying health problem. So the general rule is if your eyes are red for more than three days, go and see your optometrist or ophthalmologist. I love that rule.